at the nature of their own existence, of their own definition, opinions themselves cannot be wrong, they are subjective. Yet in gaming and when creating content for any form of entertainment, opinions are a tricky balancing act. Regardless of which side you may take or even if you choose to remain neutral, individuals can and will always disagree with you, such is the nature of an opinion. However, in recent times, opinions have become much more of a focal point in the eyes of most people to an extent to where an individual opinion, whether they are a creator or not, is seen as a statement of fact and individuals may take it upon themselves to correct that mindset of another person despite, once again, everything being subjective. This has even progressed to an extent to where a backlash from certain topics may cause creators or people to simply shy away from discussions or talking or mentioning a certain thing in general over fear of rejection or disagreement. A common example is gacha gaming. You have the concept of waifu over meta and sometimes this gets thrown around all over the place. Yet even when stating this, the subject of an individual's personal preference, whether they be male or female, is still seen as something that can be objectively wrong despite everything being both fictional and opinion based. Even commonly stated things may be based in an opinion themselves. To utilize a common aspect of this in reference to gacha gaming is the ages of Genshin Impact characters. If any individual, for whatever reason, takes it upon themselves to google the age of a Genshin character like Fischl, Razor, Chongyun, or Bennett, every answer they see is based on an inference, an approximation, speculation, or an opinion of the individual who's writing or typing. Because in Genshin Impact, there are no definitive firmly stated ages unless they're for the Archons or Gods themselves. Yet even still, these speculative opinions are used commonly and stated as fact numerous times to argue, deter, or demean one another within the community for using a certain character, liking them, or for any number of things. In other games, this same logic can be applied to the concept of meta or optimal play. The concept of playing a game properly. I doubt that many will argue with the fact that there are always multiple routes or options in terms of how you choose to play a game or how you enjoy it. Yet to the same effect, games themselves, TV shows, and movies are all subjective in nature. Your own personal enjoyment may not be the same as somebody else's and that goes for music as well. Different tastes inspire different opinions and it's through these differing opinions and mindset that we oftentimes are introduced not only to new concepts, new perspectives, and new ideas. Learning to understand this and learning to understand one another or finding a new way to look at something is incredibly important for both individuals and companies. It's how new tastes are discovered and how new products are made. Yet instead of disagreeing with one another and discussing that concept, the mindset has changed. It's shifted slightly to instead disagree and pretend to agree. Or to merely never broach the subject at all. For content creators, when one's entire career and success depends on an audience, angering that audience is a pretty consistent consideration. It may lead to many creators to never step outside of their respective comfort zone, never try new things, new concepts, ideas, games, and ultimately lead to them niching down or finding an area to settle in. And that area or niche may not be what they want to cover, but it's ultimately maybe the most comfortable for them. And this isn't true for every creator, but it may be true for some, and I do think that's a bad thing. I think everybody should be capable of branching out and discussing what they want without fear of constant backlash or a loss of support. This is why in turn the concept of cancel culture has become so prevalent. The idea that any bad press or news, false or otherwise, can entirely shatter one's reputation and career is an incredibly big thing because most of the time individuals won't choose to fact check, dig deeper, to disprove or learn many of the things that they may read online and thus the information that they read or heard about whether that be from a third party or directly from a source doesn't have to be reliable it just has to be believable. The Facts in games are usually stated outright, but even then depending on the narrator, the information itself may be inaccurate, unreliable, or entirely worthless. Yet once again, that relies solely on the consideration of the individual who is listening or playing and experiencing that, and many choose to ignore that concept. This happens in many things, not just fictional media, but real life as well. Unreliable narrators are everywhere. So over time, the lines between fact and fiction have blurred, becoming messy and meaningless. Previously, fact was truth, yet now truth is whatever individuals choose to believe, regardless as to whether it's objectively right or wrong. Hence the phrase, my truth. 
Everyone is biased to an extent. I'm biased, you're biased, and everyone seeks to confirm that bias, even subconsciously. To this measure, many would choose to ignore or disregard or simply demerit any information that they may hear, disagree with the simplest of things, all in order to ensure that their own truth, that their own opinion remains grounded. Thus, over time, the concept of the truth has gradually lost its meaning and it's been ground into simply opinions stated in whatever believable manner people choose to. Preventative play or unhelpful advice is something else I'd like to discuss. As previously stated, waifu over meta is a common argument, yet while I previously mentioned that waifus and husbandos were based in personal preference and are thereby subjective, meta in many instances is stated as an objective fact. However, it can also be subjective. Under normal circumstances, meta is used to refer to a conventionally powerful or good team, unit, method of playing, or gear. It could be an optimal route in a mission, it could be powerful units, weapons, or armor that can assist you throughout your playtime, and they can dramatically alter your style of playing and your experience. Under most circumstances, this is useful information to any individual, whether you're new to the game or older. However, in that same vein, meta does not take into consideration playstyle preference, varied content, or ease of use. Meta attempts to discuss and take on objectively useful and optimal options in a video game, yet it does not take on or mention common pitfalls or weaknesses of meta-based teams, units, gear, and can oftentimes lead individuals to enjoy a game less. Primarily because it may occasionally funnel everyone into an ideal way of playing or a specific method of playing. If an individual chooses to try and optimize their own gameplay experience by choosing and going after selectively strong things, there is a slight bias that will affect how they choose to perform that. Because whilst it is their choice, many will still go with something that is much easier for them while still being strong or what is best for them to complete their respective goal and objective. And their skill level, their comfort level could be entirely different from somebody else's. So whilst an objective statement of what is strong and what is not can be accurate, the method of playing or if it's optimal can be entirely different. Because under the right circumstances, yes, you can make something incredibly well optimized, but you don't take into consideration the personal preference and the skill level of the player who's attempting that. And if everyone is funneled into an exact same method of play, into an exact same playstyle, into the exact same weapons, armor, gear, characters, teams, then no one is really allowed or at least has the experience and possibility of being creative to find something that they prefer. And if they experience what is meta and what is meta isn't something that they like, it can turn them away from many games. Now, I know I glossed over a lot of things. I went from opinions to meta to waifu over meta and I know this was a bit more of a different style of video. I actually scripted this one. But I would like to hear your own opinions, your own thoughts on overall how gameplay, how communities tend to take differing opinions, how they argue, and what does waifu, husbando, and meta mean to you? Do you think it can mess up and ruin a game? Do you think it can alter a person's experience? Or do you just not care what other people think and play for fun? I personally intend to make more videos like this, and I intend to do a lot more variety, and I understand that many individuals might not like that, but as mentioned previously, I want to do what's fun for me, and if that isn't something that you enjoy, I understand that. Regardless, my name is Shikai. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.